Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the seventh Scorpio New Moon. Seventh into the eighth. We'll see what happens. Keep in mind the timing is fluid, right? It is. Sometimes these readings resonate with me on the day. Sometimes it's a week later. Sometimes it's three days later. Sometimes they're done, not at all. Okay. So, I mean, this reading may be for you or it may not. What do we have for today? What energy am I picking up on today? Somebody needs to hear something. What is it? What do they need to hear? Ooh, what a great first card. <laughs> oh, oh, this is, this is, uh, you know, facing your fears, facing your demons. It's also the sign of Capricorn. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, it's like we have some desires that need to be met and they're, they are at the forefront of, of the energy. Ooh, we have a, a completion here, an ending that is leading someone to a huge, big, major new phase. A new phase is going to begin once somebody faces their fears. <clears throat> because with the devil, the devil brings in ways to escape reality. Somebody has been trying to escape the inevitable with any means possible. But we've reached the end. We've reached the end of escaping the reality. Mm. And somebody may not want to believe it. May not want to go this route. You know. No. No. I'm going to do whatever I can to fight this. This change. They've been hurting themselves by staying in a toxic situation, whether this toxic situation is drugs, alcohol, whatever, any kind of addiction, anything. They've been deciding to stay in that situation and it's been hurting them the whole time. And now it's time for this major change and they've made a, a decision that's not logical, right? It's not a logical decision. Escaping something is not logical. Yeah, it might feel good while you're doing it, but when you come down, shit. Aha. Somebody is becoming consciously aware whether they like it or not. And you may feel the need to retreat during this major change. Go within and come up with a plan B. You're probably going to have to come up with a plan B. You give what you get, right? Or you get what you give. And it's time to bring some balance back. It's time to regain and it's time to receive. And it's also time to get what you deserve. And somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve. Mm. 
good or bad. Good or bad. They're gonna somebody is gonna get exactly what they deserve. Somebody's been in a harmful situation, and that's the truth. The King of Swords is a person, could be anybody, that is, it's abusive. It's, a, it's an abusive situation. And when the devil's involved, yeah, there's a good chance that somebody has been involved in an abusive situation. Maybe it could be abusing drugs, I mean... It could be abusive, toxic relationship. It, whatever it is, is an abusive situation here that somebody has been neglecting to remove themselves from and now it's time for it to end. You've reached the end of the line, right? It's the last card in the deck. It's the end. Time to move into that next phase of life. Ooh, we have an emperor. Yeah, somebody has been trying to control their... <laughs> trying to control an outcome, trying to to take, you know, using their ways to escape, you know, this change. It's like, I've been trying to escape this change, trying to control the outcome, but it's like, you can only control it for so long. This change has wanted to happen for quite some time. It's like the wheel's been trying to spin. It's been trying, it's, you're, they've been trying to, you, to get you to change, but you've been really escaping and, you know, hurting yourself and blocking it and not being logical and trying to control a situation, trying to fight destiny, trying, just trying to escape this change because, out of fear, right? And now... It's, it's time. It's time for you to evolve into who you're supposed to be. This is a card of purpose. This is a card of purpose. They're right next to each other. They're both cards of purpose. There's a reason why things have to change. And if you fight it and you escape it, yeah, it might work for a little while. But eventually you're going to have to face whatever it is, and somebody has absolutely, positively been trying to cover up whatever is going on with addictions. Okay, these are both addictions right here. Woo! -hoo! Now, remember, majors, majors, major arcanas are universally driven. The universe is at work here. Okay? Major, 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 major. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven majors on November 7th. Seven is the number from heaven. Eleven, seven. Okay? Seven majors on November 7th, Scorpio New Moon. We have a divinely guided change of course that somebody has been trying to escape from and you can't escape it anymore you can't nope nope you're being asked to have faith and trust and to listen and believe that whatever is happening is bringing you to a better place and that's the truth faith and trust right here the hair of all. It's time for you to believe in yourself. It, maybe you need to ask for help. Whatever is going on, you're being called to listen to your gut. And trust that the universe 
knows what it's doing. This is a universe card, and these majors are universally driven. The universe is at work here. I'm telling you what, it's out of your control. And you may not feel comfortable with it, but it is absolutely out of your control. Somebody has been trying to escape the reality of whatever it needs to happen. And now you are going to have to take the lead. You're going to have to. It's time to bring back that structure to your life. It's time to get back to where you need to be. It's time you can't escape this any longer. Uh-uh. Nope. Somebody deserves something. And it's like, it's divine timing. The time is now for this change to happen. And all you can do at this point is have faith and trust with this Hierophant card. Be prepared for a completion that leads you to a new place and puts you right back in charge of your life. Seriously. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty at first because you've been trying to escape it and you're going to go down. Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen. You're going to go down. You're going to go down. When you have to face reality, it is a, a wake-up call. But then you're going to rise back up and start over on a whole new path. And that's the truth. Somebody has been, you see, you're going to go down. You are going down. Anyway, somebody is probably about to see the light. They are. You're going to receive balance and harmony. And you may feel like this is extremely uncomfortable as you're going down because, yeah, when that shit goes out of your system, it's going to be uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. But it's going to lead you down a new path towards victory and success. And this is exactly what you need. It's going to allow you to start over. And it is absolutely divinely guided, universally driven, major change headed your way. Be prepared to face your demons in a very big way. And it's going to be uncomfortable. do we need to know for today can't escape there's no escaping this change nope universe says nope time is now the time is now for you to heal and for you to deal deal with the reality of what this is Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. You are beloved. You are deeply loved and profoundly lovable. 
You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you. God, the creator, is love. And in your essence, so are you. In matters of romantic love, all is healing or is already healed on the inner planes. I just told you it's time to heal. That's funny. Anyway. In matters of romantic love, all is healing or, or is already healed on the inner planes. Trust the messages from your heart and follow them, even if you are at odds with your mind. <laughs> Angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their soft whispers. Oh, this, th these cards always sum up my reading every single time. Joyous love flows through you and to you. You deserve love. <laughs> oh, God, I told you they always resonate. I told you you're going to get what you deserve. There is nothing you need to do to receive this vibrant energy. There ain't nothing you can do. All right, it's happening. Tenderness and devotion are finding their way to you. The traveler walks with a light heart on the path, knowing that she is surrounded with love. It's truly a day for rejoicing. Your capacity for receiving and giving love is expanding. Let your heart lead you forward. Your mission on earth is to deepen your ability to impact, impart and accept love. And that is happening right now. This change that is happening is going to bring you the love that you deserve. But getting there isn't going to be comfortable. So be prepared for the universe to make a change that leads you down a new path towards I mean, a really big new path, okay? That world card is a major change. Where one phase of your life, I mean, a phase, I'm talking about something long term, is done. It's over. And you are traveling to a new destination. Period. So get ready. The universe is in charge and it's out of your control and you've been trying to escape it and you've been trying to control it and no, you can't. It's about love and everybody in this world deserves it. And you can't lie to yourself and bury your, bury the your feelings with addictions. You can, but it, you're going to come down eventually. You must come down to, to go back up. So be prepared to be brought down so that you come back better than ever. The time is right now. Embrace it. If you escape it, it will be worse. Good luck.